If you had asked Manchester United fans, would they have been happy with seven points from Chelsea at home, Burnley away and Man City away, everybody would have snapped your hand off. Three positive, good results. Yes, we didn't beat City, but we didn't lose. And the top four chase is still in our hands. And the football marathon continues with Swansea on Sunday. But the thing is, all that positive good work in those three games can come undone if we do not beat Swansea on Sunday. Going into the game, the unbeaten run now stretches to 24. Man United seem to be coping well with defensive injuries. Marcus Rojo has gone out, but Daly Blind was superb in the Burnley game and superb against Man City. Eric Bailly back to his early season form. That's really positive for Man United. Uh, Rashford looked very isolated against Man City. That's a little bit of a worry. That's not really the role that he can operate in yet. I think as he gets bigger and stronger, I think that will come in time, but he can't really play that number nine isolated striker role. So the main question to ask going into this game is, can we continue coping defensively and improve in attacking? Because we scored six goals in the games prior, in the three games prior to Man City, we drew a blank there, but against Swansea at home, Man United have got to be winning this game. Just one look at Swansea's form tells you exactly why they are down there in the relegation zone. They've got one win in their last six. Happily for them, it came in their last game, a 2-0 win over Stoke. Fernando Llorente got the first goal. Stoke were pretty poor. But prior to that win over Stoke, they had only scored one goal in their previous five games, including losses against Watford, losses against West Ham and Bournemouth, a 0-0 draw against Middlesbrough. I mean, come on. If United cannot beat this team, the problem is, is there have been so many times we've said that this season at Old Trafford. Bournemouth, West Ham, after the Arsenal game, absolutely. This is another one of those fixtures which on paper looks simpler, but in reality, Man United have struggled in these games this season. And the main issue with this game is the fact Swansea are in a relegation scrap. Teams down there are in a dogfight. And Swansea have a chance of staying up this year. Paul Clement has done a very good job, I feel, at Swansea. The fact that they've only won one of the last six might indicate that he's not. But Swansea are definitely going to be a better team than when we played them early this season. They were shit when we played them at the Liberty Stadium. There is no other way to put it. The worst team I feel we may have played this season. And we had a very, very strange lineup going into the game as well. So question marks were raised from United fans. But it was a very dominant performance. Popper obviously scored that wonder goal against Swansea. And fans are certainly hoping that he's back for this game. As for Swansea's danger men, it's quite obvious. Fernando Llorente's got 12 league goals and Gilfie Sigurdsson always seems to cause problems for Man United. I think they're the two key men for Swansea. So Man United have got to make sure that we don't let them get balls into the box because Fernando Llorente is probably going to win that header. Although Bayern is coming into good form, he's going to have to have a good game against Fernando Llorente. And Sigurdsson is so dangerous in set pieces that we cannot give away silly fouls on the edge of the box because there is every chance that Sigurdsson's going to punish us. I mean, but a good thing going into the game is Man United's defence right now, solid. Didn't concede against Burnley, didn't concede against Man City. And we could have conceded in both games. Bay and Blind, an excellent partnership straight away by the focal point. He's really refound his early season form. He lost it a bit when he came back from the African Cup of Nations, but Bay is looking super superb at the moment and we really need him to be. We're so resilient in defence right now that it only looks like Man United need to score one goal to win. And Rashford looked isolated, as I said, against Man City. Martial was a little bit off colour and so was Mkhitaryan because they were playing so deep. Maybe we'll see different lads against Swansea. Maybe the same Martial that we saw against Burnley. But I suppose it is a bit of a worry going into the game. And of course, you've got to think, is Jose Mourinho going to rest players? We've got Celta Vigo away on Thursday, the Europa League semi-final first leg. Followed three days later, I believe, by Arsenal. So the games are coming thick and fast and it's tough for Man United right now. So will Jose Mourinho use his strongest start 11 for this game? I do not think so. Make sure you check out our start 11 show as you always do. But prediction wise, I'm, I'm going 2-0 Manchester United. Swansea, as I said, won one in the last six where they scored two. But five games prior to that, they'd only scored one goal. They are relegation fodder. And the good thing about them being relegation fodder is the fact that they have to chase this game. When we played Bournemouth at Old Trafford, they were happy with the draw. So they came back, they sat deep, and Man United have struggled all season long against teams who have sat deep and are happy to take a draw. Like how we played against Man City. So that should mean that Swansea leaves some space in behind that we can exploit. But Man United at home against Swansea, 
We've got to make sure that we do not slip up here. Steven Gerrard, eat your heart out. We need to make sure we get three points. Otherwise, the good, excellent work in the three games against Chelsea, Burnley and Man City is all going to come undone. But how confident are you going into this game? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video. Go on, guys. Like it. It always helps. Uh, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.